Welcome everybody, my name is Luciferian, and today we're playing Outlast. Now I've had a lot of uh, requests from certain people that I play this. They especially wanted me to play it because I am a giant wuss when it comes to jump scares and things like that. So we're going to give this a shot on the normal difficulty. And uh, I don't know, maybe if I really like the game, we'll try it on some harder dif difficulties. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. Well, I will enjoy all of that. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare to investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Mount Massive Asylum. What a name. Stay alive as long as you can. Huh. <laughs> Record everything. You are not a fighter to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Well. Alright, so I'm not allowed to kill anything, huh? That'll... That'll be an experience. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns were to blame for livestock behavior. Encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend seminar on Fuel Avenue in Pueblo. And I don't want to die. I've heard this game is really scary though, so we'll see. No, you're almost out of gas, man. What happens if you need to drive this car and run away? What's that other emptier full gauge up there? Oh, battery? Hmm. That is loud. Let's turn that down a bit. We'll turn it up uh, once we actually get in there. September 17th, 2013 from some random email to me. Tip illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Let's expose it. Some batteries. Got a camera. Okay. So am I just like going with the camera this entire time? Yay. Objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook tab. That, okay. Containing your notes and, and picking up documents J. So I can just, I can access it all through tabs. So the N and J aren't super big for me. Nothing in here. Why is there a, a security gate with no security? Okay, that's how you record. How do you turn on the uh, night vision? To open a door quickly, press the left mouse button. To open a door slowly, hold the left mouse, left mouse button. Okay, to raise your camcorder, press the right mouse button. Okay. Is 
that's really good uh leaf blowing here to run hold left shift why are there tanks here well not tanks but like you know what i mean giant armored vehicles just take one of those in there locked what about this other side okay also locked locked okay uh running into a lot of locked stuff here Guess we'll go the other direction. Oh man, you've been running for like three feet. How are you that tired? Okay. Locked, however. Hold down the left. Man, that, that man crouches real low. Look at this. Like he is like shin height on a crouch. That's a little absurd, I think. Okay. And locked. With the camcorder active, you can zoom in with your mouse scroll wheel up. Mouse scroll wheel down. Okay. What exactly are we trying to record here. Is there like objectives? I can lean. All right. Like overall, the objective is just to investigate. But I guess maybe I haven't gotten anything to where I'd uh, jump over a gap spacebar while moving forward. Hiya. Okay. So this is what we call breaking and entering. Not exactly legal. Oh, that's always good. Activate the night vision on your camcorder. Press F with the camera raised. Okay. Note that the night vision uses battery life. Manage it well. Oh boy. I like how there's light coming out of this door, but like I couldn't see it. We'll open it slowly. Peek out. All right, nothing's here. Okay. Well, nothing so far. What the f was that? Squeeze through, move towards the gap. Okay. Oh. Look, there's some uh, nice little blood trails. Always a positive. Oh, uh, that would really creep me out if I'd uh, be in this office. 
Oh look, a battery. Batteries are used for the infrared light of your camcorder. You can reload by pressing R. Okay. You would think you'd try and like log onto some computers. Anything underneath there? No. Okay. Oh. That like little glitch there kind of freaked me out. Left mouse button, pick up document. Collect the documents. J are updated in your reporter's notebook. Okay. Project Wallrider patient status report for William Hope. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four hormone schedule. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hemat hematocrit. Centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claim that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Blood dreams. The only Traeger on company records. One Richard Traeger is an executive for, from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wallrider. Okay. So dude is having dreams where he's like reading other people's memories and stuff. That's pretty crazy. Oh, I don't think I remember there being bloody footsteps. That actually seems kind of new. Oh boy. I... I don't like that. Right, that's locked now, okay. Why would I go in there anyways? That's locked, okay. Well, I guess we got the... Uh, one, one place to go, oh! We're going to go in there too, aren't we? We're stupid. All right. Oh yeah, there's just blood everywhere in a vent. What are we going to do? We're going to go in the vent. Okay. Wait, how is he hung all the way over there? What's up here? I, I probably just lost a lot of cred credibility as like a man here. Oh, there's a bunch of heads here. They 
killed us? You got out. The, the very... You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can't unlock the main doors. Go to security and control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Can we just get out? I bet that's locked, huh? Yeah, that's locked now. Okay, so I guess we're pushing through. Oh. That, uh... That got me. Not even gonna lie. Alright. Try and run through here. Save some battery. Oh, that's... That man is in pieces. I mean, a lot of them are in pieces, so... some whispering oh a lot more dead people hey, that's an arm all right we're about done with our first battery Alrighty, that kind of worries me. We've only got three at the moment. It says we can hold up to 10. So I'm guessing there's a lot out there. Okay. Little fish. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh. And who are you? Who are you then? Hi, I'm Lucifer. I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Oh, man. New objective. Escape the asylum. Access security control to unlock the main doors. This is in my notes. I'm inside. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Yeah. Would have been. Picked up a battery. Nice. Yeah. 
just dead people everywhere. Top radio? Can't take the radio. Oh, nice. Tell me to reload the batteries, but I can still like walk around like this. That's neat. I wonder if that's a bug or intended. I guess there's like light already, so it's just like green. Yeah, let's try. Reload the battery. I want to see if there's like any difference. I guess it's a little brighter. More dead people. Look for some batteries here. More dead people. I'm just walking on top of them. Okay. Lots of blood. Another file. I'm curious, like, it's supposed to be like a run and hide game, apparently. I'm curious, like, where I would hide. Like, do I hide under desks and stuff like this? Hasn't really explained that part. All right, let's take a look at this uh, new document we got. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2000 ppm unsafe to progress beyond stage three hormone schedule spirometry re revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation mri scans consistent with patients report reported dreams walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations restraint have have had to be altered to a accommodate his enormous extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity he claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing seems to have some boyhood experience with tuatara lizards and their parietal eyes he has expressed anxiety about his flesh specifically around his lips and nose Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for, for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Are those my bloody footprints or are these somebody else's bloody footprints? I'm curious. Oh, I make bloody footprints. Okay. Neat. Uh, it's telling me to peek, so I have a feeling like now is the. Uh... Oh boy. Hello. Whatever that is. Can I unlock this one? It's locked. Okay. My my boy is breathing pretty heavily here.
I'm kind of curious about this. We about to uh, die here. Man, not have a face. These dudes are all sorts of messed up. Music was seriously leading me to believe I was about to get scared out of my mind. Is that a dead person? It is, in fact, a dead person. Left mouse to pick up key cards for security control. All right. Collected objects are updated in your reporter's notebook. Notes. I didn't really. Oh, inventory the key card for security. Didn't really uh, put that anywhere. Like it says it did. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the whole hiding thing. Oh, I almost missed this. How do I get down there? Grab that. Okay, there we go. I don't recall a uh, a door that I needed a key card for, but at the same time, I wasn't exactly looking for one. Does this require a key card? No. Okay. I forgot I uh, hadn't explored all of this here. I was kind of curious where that key card was going to be needed, but we just hadn't checked a lot of places yet. Okay. I see the file. I was just seeing if there's anything else here. The Murkoff Corp. United States Office Warrant for Seizure, case number whatever. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 112, affidavits having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, 
who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center for with imminent danger of environment contamination we are satisfied with the affidavits and testimony established sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the matter of mhs and grounds for the issuance of this warrant you are hereby required to grant grant mhs full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents by acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. Huh. Proclaim the gospel. That's got to be the little priest guy. Where we just were. <gasps> okay. So that's a no. Oh boy. Uh, no, you can look behind by holding Q and E while running. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to need that here in a second. Because, you know, that's the way. Okay, was that not coming for me? Okay, it wasn't. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh boy. I'm either gonna be like hiding in here or there's gonna be some messed up shit in here. Okay. Witness. And that's a bloody arm in a toilet. Okay. Body parts everywhere. Oh, dude. This has definitely got the all the right elements of horror. What? My door just closed from grabbing that battery. Anything else in here? No. Okay. Oh boy. I am... I'm not, I'm not afraid you guys are. Okay, we have a, we have a security key card. Close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can I, can I lock this? No, I can't. Hello? Okay. I figured we'd be able to lock that, you know, since we need a security key card. Okay, this is how you hide. Okay. They lie. Hmm. 
Lucky the... Oh boy, there's the priest guy. Oh, he is staring... That man cheated. Hey, there's the big fat guy. <laughs> okay, I thought it was just going to stand there for a second. I was like, oh no. This is definitely some nightmare fuel. Man, just kicked down a door. I don't know why I'm walking in the direction he was just going. Because I'm brilliant. You guys will see. That clearly... It's, it's smart to follow the guy that's going to eat your soul. Okay. So dark. Why does it have to be so dark and be using all of my batteries classified? Okay. So the classified, the thing marked classified, isn't the, what we need. Got it. Okay. Right. Can't go that direction. I don't think there are any doors that I could open on this side. All right. Uh. We've already been in there and in there, but these doors are closed now. Why is that? Oh, I didn't even see the head earlier. You ever been like so scared? It's like hard swallowing? Yeah, that's me right now. Right, I'm gonna bring this up and reload the batteries. Just in case. Since it's so dark. Oh boy, guys, I am just not having a good time. All right. All 
Let's read our documents here. We have two of them. Dear sirs, the full report pending and no immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wallrider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wallrider remains a dangerous initiative and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal action vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granite. Murkoff Legal Medication Department. Man, they're just talking about killing people for profit like it's nothing. Hypnotic Experiment and Research. CIA document. Oh. MK Ultra CIA document. On Wednesday, 10 February 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged, a post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson, or Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson. Now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun and which she refused in a waking state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Okay, so they're just magicians. Okay, all right, that's going to do it for this episode of Outlast, guys. Make sure if you guys like this episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you in the next episode for more Outlast, where you get to see me squeal like a little girl. See you guys then.